After winning their first leg 2-1 in Uganda, Kampala, uh, the Black Princesses return here to the Cape Coast Sports Stadium uh, for a place in the final round of qualifiers for the Under-20 World Cup. While well, I look at the highlights, the Black Princesses of Ghana are taking on Uganda in the Under-20 World Cup qualifiers. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. The match officials are leading the two teams onto the pitch and these officials would also ensure that they And now, the next... And the referee patience indeed has blown her whistle for Today's event to commence. Right. In the heart of defense will be the likes of Opoku, Abena, Anoma, Echa, Anastasia, Enuwa. The Black Princesses of Ghana. Nah. Um, Esther, I think so far so good. But if the black princesses don't take uh, the take the first <laughs> the first shot at goal, but for, unfortunately for them, um, Susie Dedete has cleared the ball out of their path. It's it's very advantageous kick and attempt. It's quickly it has been effected into the 18-yard box, but Cynthia. Cynthia does wonderfully well. Another to Clark could not capitalize on the opportunity that they had here. That was the wonderful save by Cynthia. Very, very beautiful save from the young chap. If it's pressure or something, but I believe if he talks to them, um, things are going to change for them. Will things be able to change for them? The ball is in the heart of defense. A very how would their consistency in terms of trying be? Doris Bredua once again doing the one to win the World Cup and then coming to play this qualifiers for the Black Princesses. You should know that this is a goalkeeper that has really uh, transformed so well. She has developed so well from um, the U17 level even to this side. See, there's some of the um, saves that she's, she's been making. If not for her, I think by now the Black Princesses should be down by a goal or two. She has done so well and I believe that she's the one keeping the Black Princesses in the game so far. It's very obvious. The whistle. Perhaps the whistle might have you know, deceived her. <laughs> Throwing advantage here for the Black Princesses of Ghana. It has been quickly effected. Abdullah Salamatu, who has done very well. And it's a goal. It's a goal that has been scored by Bedou Evelyn. Uh, that, that was so cool. That was so, so cool. How. I think I want to give credit to um, Salama to how she, go, she went past the marker and then she put the ball in. There's no way a player like Evelyn Bedou is going to miss that chance when she's in the 16 yard box. Excellently delivered and she got the Black Princesses uh, into the lead. Abdullah Salama to had the better side of Samalai. Look at how she did the turning. And she managed to locate Bedou Evelyn, who wasted no time in that hold of the ball, but she has also been dispossessed. And it's still in the heart of midfield for a tassel for the two sides to ensure that 
they get control of the game. Once again, another glorious opportunity for the Black Princesses. With it's a goal. Finally, it's finally. A goal. Abdullah Salama to get the second goal for the Black Princesses of Ghana. She scored in Uganda. And today here at the Cape Coast Pro Stadium, she has also scored. So it's 2-0 after 25 minutes of action here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium in favor of the Black Princesses of Ghana. Sure, can I say it's a done deal for the Black Princesses already because uh, at 25 minutes, they are leading by a goal to nil. How are you going to come back to by score two goals to nil. When, when, when they are already playing and they are coming into their game and all that? A striker that can get to go, she got one at, um, in Uganda and she scored here yet. She's, she has not had a, a fully, um, let me say, she's not really have the game, a game now uh, in this particular match. She hasn't come into the game yet she has scored. So you can imagine if she decide or she decides to um, go keep her for the um, U20 team. Another glorious opportunity ah. to ensure that they qualify to the next round. A glorious opportunity. So well. So if you get yourself some, um, excuse my language, on the cast, you might cause the team and it shouldn't An be. opportunity here for the Black Princesses to get the third goal, but hard luck, hard Unlucky. luck, Unlucky. hard luck on the part of. <laughs> Doris Bredua, she deserves to get her goal I today. told you, she I told you that really this girl has been everywhere, she's well doing today. so well. And so um, it would be unfair for her not to get a goal. She was gifted this goal mm -hmm. on the, at a very tight angle. She tried her best to um, uh, score this goal, but for the woodwork, this girl... A howler, <laughs> a howler committed by the goalkeeper. Doris Which Bredua. almost gifted Doris Bredua the third goal. <laughs> The Black Princesses have begun the second half with a very glorious of a good composure from Evelyn Bedou. And the Black Princesses are in a comfortable lead here. A very glorious opportunity for the Creators Craig. Their skipper is really, really good. She was the one that got the uh, consolation goal for them uh, uh, in Uganda. And this afternoon, she has been all over. She's the one making all the moves for them. Look at that again from the skipper and the pass she gave to um, uh, the, uh, the attacker. Here in Cape Coast, Jafaru has managed to find That was the goal that was scored by Jafaru in the second. She needs to go from, from this stage. It's another goal this time around. She finally! Finally! Managed to also <laughs> register her name on the sheet of the goal scorers of the day. Well deserved. <laughs> Nyame <laughs> Mafia. <laughs> Really on the players. Here Doris Bredua goes. She comfortably had the ball. And so much try to and that was a wall composed goal there. She gets the fifth goal for the black princesses of Ghana. So the Black Princesses have made it into the final round of the World Cup qualifiers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.